on LEX 18 News at 5. A friend finds an elderly couple shot to death inside their home. Now police are looking for answers. With the LEX 18 storm tracker forecast, we do have a tornado watch up across the northern part of Kentucky. More showers and thunderstorms are developing to our southwest. We'll show you where they're headed, what you can expect this evening. And that's all coming up. With coverage you can count on, this is LEX 18 News at 5. Authorities try to unravel a mystery following the discovery of two bodies in a Scott County home. That's tonight's LEX 18 Big Story at 5. Good evening. I'm Kevin Christopher and welcome to the first high definition broadcast from our new LEX 18 News Studios. Yes, welcome to our new home. I'm Nancy Cox. Thank you for joining us tonight. Well, we do have some storms in the area, so we want to begin with our chief meteorologist, Bill Mack. Yeah, he's standing by in our new LEX 18 Storm Tracker HD Weather Center. Bill? You know, the HD may just sound like a couple of letters, but in reality, it adds a lot more precision to what we do back here. We've increased our tools, we've increased our accuracy with these tools. The Max Track is now in high def, and it's telling us that we have some pretty big thunderstorms out there. In addition, the tornado watch, which we talked about right there in the headline, has been extended across the entire area until 11 o'clock. Now, the Max Track Live Doppler, as we look here at 5 o'clock straight up, and we do see clusters of thunderstorms out there. Uh, we've got one storm going through parts of Scott County and Owen County, and that extends down into the northern part of Woodford County. It's already gone through Versailles. That one's moving along uh, pretty much Leestown Road. We're along 421 there. You've got more storms back towards Cynthia. But as we zoom in a little closer on this one, the, you see Georgetown there. This is going across the north side of Georgetown, headed toward Delaplane and the Toyota plant up that way. So, again, this one's grazing Georgetown. Uh, heavy rain with that. Could be a little pea sized hail. We're also watching some stronger storms developing now down toward Campbellsville, Lebanon, and it'll keep a few more showers and storms out toward Stanford there. You folks in Columbia, get ready. You've got a real big storm on the way for you. We do have a tornado watch that is in effect until 11 o'clock. It is for the entire area. And again, you see the lines of thunderstorms that are out there. Uh, temperatures are running low 70s now in Lexington, London, and Jackson, a muggy 75 in Somerset. Frankfort is at 69. Evening thunderstorms. Eventually, we're down into the mid-50s, but get set for a very stormy evening. We'll have more for you in just a couple of minutes. Okay, we'll keep watching. Bill, thank you. We also have some breaking news to tell you about tonight. It involves a bad wreck along Nicholasville Road. LEX 18's Officer Don is live by phone with more information. Nancy, around 2.30 this afternoon, police were called to a crash scene outbound Nicholas Railroad near Rode, which is just past Fayette Mall. It appears that three vehicles were involved in a collision, a utility truck hauling a bobcat on a trailer, a Volkswagen Passat, and a white passenger vehicle that's really damaged beyond recognition there, as you can see now. I've been told that one person was transported to the hospital with very serious injuries, and uh, one lane of outbound Nicholasville Road has been opened, but that's mainly to allow vehicles that have been stuck for some time to get past the scene, and they had to stay still an inbound lane to do that. Now, police are asking motorists to avoid using both in and outbound Nicholasville Road from Manowar to Wilson Downing for at least the next couple of hours, while officers from the Collision Reconstruction Unit try to piece this together. This, the fourth serious collision they've been called to investigate in the past eight days. We'll have more as information develops. Now back to you. It's been a bad stretch. Thank you, Officer Don. Now back to the big story. The double murder of an elderly couple. That's what state police now say they have on their hands. A woman found the two shot to death inside their Scott County home this morning. And hours later, authorities still have more questions than answers. Chase Kane is live in the LEX 18 newsroom with more. Well, Nancy, we've been at the crime scene all day and person after person drove up when they heard the news about what had happened to this well-respected couple, James and Vivian Gray. Countless friends showed up all asking who and why. No one could understand this horrible crime. More in tonight's LEX 18 Big Story at 5. It just don't make sense. I didn't know they had any trouble. But the worst kind of trouble came right to James and Vivian Gray's front door. A friend found the married couple shot to death inside their home early this morning. I don't have a clue. I, I don't understand who would done something like this. Everybody liked them as far as I know. Everyone. But investigators say someone had some reason to shoot and kill the elderly couple, well known and well regarded around town. Excellent people. Great. I mean, I got nothing to say against them. James stayed busy buying and selling for a flea market he runs nearby, and Vivian bred dogs that animal control came in and took away. Meantime, detectives marked shotgun shells found around the Gray's home, 
while others carried out armfuls of evidence. All clues the Gray's son, Anthony, and the couple's countless friends hope lead to some answers. Who would have killed, you know? Who would have done this? Who? I don't understand. It doesn't make any sense. And the Gray's son told me that the last time anyone saw the couple was Tuesday evening, so depending on when these crimes happened, it could have been almost two days before anyone found them. And as for any suspects, state police say they're following leads, but they're not releasing any information on anyone who may be suspected in these crimes. Nancy? Chase Kane in the LEX 18 newsroom. The coroner is taking James and Vivian Gray's bodies to Frankfurt this evening for autopsies. And if you know anything about what may have happened to them, you're asked to call the Scott County Sheriff. The number is 502-863-7855. Well, news of the two murders is taking its toll on members of the Stonewall community who knew the Grays. LEX 18's Kristen Flum continues our Big Story team coverage. In the Stonewall community, you won't find too many people who don't know James and Vivian Gray. If you don't know them personally, you've most likely visited their store that's located just across the street from where the couple lives. James Gray owns Gray's on Main, a store similar to a flea market or a place to trade odds and ends. Neighbors say the Grays have owned the store for more than two decades. It's a quiet place along Kentucky 25 that doesn't bring in a lot of visitors, but a lot of familiar faces. Most say the Grays kept to themselves, didn't cause any kind of trouble, but there is some speculation tonight that they may have been targeted for guns and money that they kept inside. And as you may well imagine, there is a lot of concern tonight from investigators and people in this community alike about who would do such a thing to such a well-known couple. We're covering the news in Scott County from the LEX 18 Mobile Newsroom. Back to you. Thank you, Kristen. And we'll have more reaction from people who knew the Grays coming up tonight at 6. Lexington police say the cause of a fatal fire at the Surfside Apartments is arson, but they won't be making an arrest in the case. Richard Devane tells us why. Lexington Police Department and the Fire Department say they consider this fire the work of an arsonist, and they say they're now investigating the death that happened here as a homicide. They do have a suspect in mind. Only problem, that suspect is now dead. Police say this man, Mark Childress, is responsible for this fire. They say he intentionally set the fire here at the Surfside Apartments last month in which one man, James Chapacata, died and several others were injured. Police say they had interviewed Childress a number of times and had found him to be the prime suspect. They say they found evidence that their fire was intentionally set and they were actually coming over to speak with him again on April the 12th when they found him hanging in his apartment just a block away. And police will not go into details of why they believe he was the one responsible for starting the fire, but people here say he had an ex-girlfriend who lived at this apartment complex and actually lived in the building where the fire started, and that was probably the reason. He had an ex-girlfriend living here that uh, I guess he wasn't happy with and had threatened her in the past, and uh, apparently uh, he went through with it. Coming up at 6, we'll have more on Childress and what his mental condition may have been before he started this fire. Covering the news in Lexington from the LAX 18 Mobile Newsroom, send it back to you. Police say they now consider this a closed case. Three Kentucky communities are still dealing with the heartache left in the wake of a crash that killed a mother and her three young children. LAX 18's Lee Searcy has the big story follow-up on the scene in Washington County. It seems almost everyone in this three county area has some sort of connection to this family. Melanie Wise was a graduate of Marion County High School. Friends of her family say she was as beautiful now as she is here in her senior picture. They say she was a devoted wife and mother to her husband Curtis and three children, seven-year-old Madeline and six-year-old David, along with their one-year-old sister. In fact, the night before the crash, she attended a parent-teacher meeting. Her life was her family and her children. They're mourning. I mean, it's a tragic loss. Um, but the fortunate thing is their, their faith is strong in Jesus Christ, both families. So they're leaning on that. Uh, there's really no words to describe what, what we're going through on this side of heaven. But our answers are coming. And also today, grief counselors were on hand at several area schools everyone just having a very tough time dealing with this tragedy. We're covering the news in Marion County. Back to you. The funeral arrangements have been set. The visitation is tomorrow afternoon at 3. The funeral is on Saturday at 2 in the afternoon. Both services are being held at Springfield Baptist Church. 
A Woodford County pastor says a fast response by firefighters is probably what saved Pinkard Baptist Church from being destroyed this morning. They were called out to the house of worship on Pinkard Pike around 3 o'clock. And as Sarah Lane reports, members are now asking if and why someone would have done this. Children's tapes lay scattered outside a burned out office as firefighters hurried to clear smoke that had spread through the building. Uh, I'm guessing they were looking for cash and we don't keep cash in the church so they didn't find any. Just a few hours earlier, a raging fire climbed the outside wall at the back of Pinkard Baptist Church. We're all just uh, very sad. I felt like I had a gut punch when I got the call this morning just that somebody would come in and start a fire on purpose. That's, that's awfully sad. Pinkard's pastor, Doug Simpson, says someone broke into his office, rummaging through things and stealing a flat screen computer monitor before going to the children's pastor's office. For want of a better phrase, it's, it's just charred, it's just toast. While Versailles police investigate the burglary, state police are on scene looking into the fire. Uh, we're probably going to be here for at least most of the day, and, and the scene will be, uh, be taped off and uh, held secure for that time. Although it's too soon to call it arson, church members have their suspicions. But even as they think about repainting, recarpeting, and calling the insurance company, they're determined to keep their spirits up. It looks like that maybe we won't be able to use the entire building, but we'll definitely have services. We'll have services. We have to have them out in the yard. Covering the news in Woodford County, Sarah Lane, LEX 18 News. This isn't the first time Pinkard Baptist Church has seen trouble. Nearly four years ago, vandals tried to break into the building, and when they didn't have any luck, they broke out all the windows of the church van. Concerns following the Virginia Tech massacre have landed a Western Kentucky high school student in trouble. Details about that coming up in a few minutes on LAX 18 News at 5. And at 5.30, the latest on the capture of a Kentucky fugitive accused of using his son's need for a kidney to scam a judge into letting him out of jail. With coverage you can count on, this is LAX 18 News at 5.30. Introducing O'Charlie's Fresh Flavors with seven all-new handcrafted creations like our herb-crusted center-cut sirloin, simply succulent bistro chicken, and our delicious baked shrimp scampi pasta. O'Charlie's Fresh Flavors, hand-selected, perfectly prepared, simply delicious. Now for a limited time. This week, Value City Furniture is giving you four big days to save on fine home furnishings. Discover this modern five-piece bedroom package with chrome accents for just $4.99. Save $400. Or choose from thousands of in-stock queen beds, many by American Signature, starting at just $1.99. Save on living rooms, bedrooms, dining rooms, and more. And pay nothing for six full months. Don't miss the big four-day sale through Sunday at Value City Furniture. High quality, guaranteed lowest prices. Your life is always on the go. You need a car that can do the same. At 41 miles per gallon, Toyota Corolla is up to the task. Now, during Toyota's spring sales drive, you can get low 3.9% financing on a new 07 Corolla, or lease one for $189 a month with only $19.99 due at signing. Or choose the 40 mile per gallon Yaris, well equipped at just 13310 But hurry, Toyota's spring sales drive ends April 30th. See your Toyota dealer now. Education funding had been flat. Then we hired a doctor to cure Kentucky's ills, Ernie Fletcher. He increased education funding by 25%, raised teacher pay and funding for our colleges. Ernie's goal is to make a college education affordable for every hardworking Kentuckian. And he's doing it by lowering taxes for almost everyone. Shine on, Kentucky. Traffic Tracker with Officer Don is brought to you by Little Caesars Pizza. $5 hot and ready pizza now. Police are asking us to avoid Nicholasville Road between Manowar and Wilson Downing. It's down to one lane because, lane because of a very serious collision at Roje this afternoon. There's also a crash at Harrodsburg and Burbank and Keeneland traffic in an outbound Versailles Road. Officer Don with LEX 18 live air traffic. And now, Chief Meteorologist Bill Meck and LEX 18 Storm Tracker Weather. And as we were speaking at the top of the 5 o'clock news, we were talking about a storm moving into Adair County, and giving you folks the heads up. Well, that storm has now become severe. We have a severe thunderstorm warning until 4.30 Central Time. 
And that again for Adair County, especially the southern and eastern parts of Adair County. All right, let's go ahead and get into the Max Track Live Doppler here. And we are looking at a cluster of thunderstorms, mostly to the west of I-75, and these have developed as we've really seen our temper temperatures surge up this afternoon. We've got one little batch of showers running to the north. We still have a couple more hours where the threat for severe weather certainly does exist, and we do have a tornado watch up. Now, as we zoom in at storm in Adair County, it's very close to fair play in the southern part of Adair County, south of Columbia. The track of this is moving to the northeast, so again, expect to see the possibility of damaging winds, large hail, and since a tornado warning is up, we will keep an eye on that particular storm also up toward Kane Valley in the northern part of Adair County. Again, that is a very strong borderline severe thunderstorm. You also notice on our display here, much more precise. We have upgraded the high definition display, so we're able to see much greater detail than we used to be able to see with the Max Track Live here. So just now to the east of Springfield, they're right close to the Mercer County line, just to the south and south east of Lebanon there in Marion County. Also some very strong thunderstorms. Uh, from Georgetown going up towards Cynthiana, these are garden variety for lack of a better way to put it, but still capable of producing a pretty good downpour. You folks in Lincoln County you also have some severe weather or strong thunderstorms going on at this point. Now on the Max Track 3D, again in the areas that are in red, that's the tornado watch that's in effect. And what I would show you with this, we're going to take you ahead in time. And so watch the clock there at the top of the screen. How by 610, that cluster of thunderstorms moving into the Lexington area. The storms that are down there in Washington and Marion counties, they're going to be headed toward Harrodsburg by about 530 quarter to 6, by Danville about 615. The storm that's down in Adair County, that one's going to be headed toward West Liberty, or excuse me, toward Liberty in uh, Casey County as we go through the 6 o'clock hour. So again, that's the situation as we see it setting up. Strong thunderstorms, a very good bet this afternoon as we have a transport of moisture coming in. We what we call dry slotted here, and that's where the sun has come out for a little while. But what that's done is it's added energy to the atmosphere. Then you get this peppering of thunderstorms. Any one of these can become severe. Right now, temperatures are running in the 70s, and this has really jumped up in the last couple of hours. 75 Bowling Green, 72 in London. Now, Louisville's checking in at 66. Tomorrow's high temperatures, those will be running only in the 60s. It's going to be a whole lot colder tomorrow, but we start to warm it up as we head towards Saturday. Big area of low pressure is going to be headed off to the northeast, taking the cold front with it, but the cold front does mean business as we'll see dramatically cooler temperatures tomorrow. Still 71 degrees in Lexington, and with that, the south wind now gusting to 20. And it's a nasty looking picture from the LAX 18 sky cam. So the forecast tonight, down to about 55 thunderstorms will be moving in and as we look ahead we are looking at uh, temperatures that will be dropping down in the mid 50s tomorrow but only low 60s with a small chance of rain as we get into your friday and as you look through the eight day what we are looking at well it turns out very nice for the weekend we just got to get there through today all in all it's an afternoon and evening where you need to stay weather aware and of course we will keep you informed with the max track hd right here so new set new tools same old spring weather though mm -hmm. huh? it's really one of the first big outbreaks we've had yeah, yeah, and something that i think has not hit its peak yet so keep it right here we'll keep you informed very right. important thanks all right two 17 year olds are dead following a violent crash in eastern kentucky details of that wreck are coming up on lex 18 news at 5 30. but still ahead at five we learn when a teen accused of killing a retired mercer county teacher will go on trial hello grasshopper it's my husband herb People are excited about our new 100 series mower, a grasshopper designed for smaller yards and smaller budgets. First he mowed our yard, then next door. Now he's heading down the street. Suddenly, mowing just one yard isn't enough. With true zero turn technology and the maneuverability of a walk behind mower without the fatigue. How far can he go on a tank of gas? Central Equipment Company in Lexington and Advanced Turf Equipment in Winchester. Is big boy, what's your favorite thing? Frisch's big boy, what's your favorite thing? Okay, what's your reason? What's the reason you were at Applebee's Park? Well, there's uh, lots of reasons. Anything else? Yeah. <laughs> well, 
there is that. But what's your main reason? Great baseball. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man, there's the hot dogs and the beer and the fireworks. Oh, my kids love the fireworks and the playground. That was my hunger roaring at me all the time. I tried diets, exercise, pills. Then my doctor recommended the lap bend system. It's a device placed around your stomach to help tame your hunger. As with any surgery, there are possible risks and complications with the lap bend system, including but not limited to infection, nausea, vomiting, band slippage, and obstruction. Visit lapband.com or call 1-800-391-7720 for more risk information. Ask your doctor if you qualify. And start taming your hunger. If you're a parent, you've got enough things to worry about already. You don't need to worry about health insurance. We have over 500,000 people uninsured. We have nearly 100,000 children. I spent a lot of years in the healthcare industry, and I know firsthand how Kentucky has failed in the area of healthcare. Bruce Lunsford's Blueprint for Change includes universal health care and a plan to pay for it. It's immoral that our public servants have let this happen. We have a blueprint for change. We will solve that problem. We won't just talk about the problem. We will get the job done. Well, once again, we want to welcome you to our new home, our high-definition studios here at LEX 18 News. And it really is a lot like moving into a new home. In fact, really some is. of the builders are still working. <laughs> Hats off to our production crew. They've oh, been here all night making sure everything was ready for this day when we bring you LEX 18 News in full spectrum high definition. You've stayed with us through the transition, through about three weeks in the newsroom, yep. and we took lots of questions. What's it going to be like? It's bigger. It's better than ever. But it's still the same commitment, the same determination, hard work that you've come to count on with LEX 18, the same commitment to coverage you can count on. So welcome aboard. You bet. A Western Kentucky student has been suspended for some suspicious conversations involving those shootings at Virginia Tech. LEX 18 covering Kentucky at 5 begins in Davis County. The student attends Apollo High School there. According to WFIE-TV, the teen was suspended for 10 days and must undergo a threat assessment. School officials say they did not take the student's comments lightly, but would not elaborate on exactly what was said. And in Mercer County, an update on the case of a teen accused of robbing and killing a retired school teacher. An August trial date has been set in the case of Louis Lee Anderson. He was 17 years old at the time Louise Pulliam was murdered in her home in January of 2006. Anderson will face charges as an adult. That's LEX 18 covering Kentucky at 5. We've seen our fair share of deadly wrecks in Kentucky this week. Coming up at 5.30... See how a single pileup has claimed eight lives in Indiana. Up next, though, how doctors cured the girl who couldn't stop a hiccup streak spanning several weeks in tonight's LEX 18 Health Watch. Traffic Tracker with Officer Dunn is brought to you by Bluegrass Mobility Office. Log on to learn more. In the end, all roads lead to Dodge Ram. That's because Dodge Ram is the longest lasting, most durable line of full-size trucks on the road. Now well-qualified returning lessees can get a low mileage lease on the Dodge Ram 1500 SLT for only $239 a month. NBC Tonight, Comedy Night Done Right is all new, starting with a brilliant new Earl. One time at the zoo, I saw a monkey beat Earl at rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> As he embarks on his greatest challenge ever. My name is Earl. <laughs> going back to high school. But graduating from this school won't be as easy as he thought. What the Then it's an all-new office that will have you seeing double. Michael! Michael! Followed by the big finale of 30 Rock and an all-new Scrubs. Comedy Night Done Right, tonight on NBC. How much for the lamp? That's uh, $2.69. The toaster? Also $2.69. The TV? $2.69. Well, how about that sandwich? $2.69. That's right. For just $2.69, you can get the sub of the day from Subway restaurants. Enjoy a different, regular six-inch sub for just $2.69 every day. And the cat? $2.69. Subway. Eat fresh.
It's a Memorial Day savings event at Factory Direct Mattress. Our stores and warehouses are overflowing with new mattresses at unbelievable savings. All mattresses are included in this sale. Twin mattresses from $59, Queen Pillow Top Sets from $299, and Sealy Luxury Pillow Top Sets from $699. Help us empty the warehouse as we prepare for new introductions. Plenty of stock and big savings at all five area locations. Buy it today and get it today at Factory Direct Mattress. For expert personal care at assisted living rates, choose Tanbark and get the most out of life. From Miss America contestant to homeless shelter, next Inside Edition. Get LEX 18 News headlines and your storm tracker forecast on your home for the Moo Crew in the morning and Better Country Bull Rides all day on Better Country 98.1, The Bull. It will be at least another two hours before police clear the scene at Nicholasville and Roger. That's just past Fayette Mall. It's down to one lane there. A very serious collision that they're working this afternoon. And it's also affecting New Circle approaching Nicholasville Road, too. Keeneland traffic in an outbound Versailles Road uh, from Man of War to the county line is making it slow going. Now back to you in the studio. She made national headlines for her inability to stop hiccuping. Now, almost six weeks after the spasms began, a sigh of relief for 15-year-old Jennifer Mee. Yeah, listen to this. A Florida doctor has cured the teen using an ear implant that's commonly used to treat back pain. Dia Davidson has more in tonight's LX18 Health Watch. This is Jennifer Mee earlier this year. For 37 continuous days, this high school student suffered painful and annoying hiccups, almost one per second. After a one-day reprieve in March, the hiccups returned until last week. That's when doctors inserted three small needles and a miniature nerve stimulator in her ear. The device is based on acupuncture and is usually used to relax nerves in chronic pain patients. The concept is, is that the ear is really the portal to the entire nervous system. There are specific nerves in the earlobe which will end up connecting to any particular part of the body. In this case, doctors say the device is relaxing Jennifer's spastic diaphragm, which is causing her hiccups. It seems to have worked. Jennifer has been hiccup-free for more than a week this time around. At first when I had it on, it was kind of scary, but then after my hiccups stopped, it, it was a relief. A relief as well for Jennifer's mother, who has tried dozens of treatments. Oh, I couldn't even tell you what the home remedies and doctors and medicines, it's been crazy the last two and a half months. A lot of doctor appointments, a lot of different medicines. The experience has been a mixed blessing. It's been kind of rough because of me not being able to see all my friends that I would like to see and stuff like that. But other than that, it's been kind of interesting. I've got to go to new places I've never been to and been in an airplane twice. Now Jennifer says she is just crossing her fingers that the hiccups don't return. Covering Health News, Dia Davidson, LAX 18 News. Hey, whatever works. The device called an IS-3 is FDA approved. That would be annoying. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of questions after two people were found dead at a Scott County home. The latest about that investigation coming up on LAX 18 News at 6. Hurry to Goody's Super Sale. Find spring savings store-wide. Now through Saturday. Buy two items and get the next one 50% off. That's right. Buy two, get one 50% off. Some exclusions apply. Don't miss Goody's Super Sale. End Saturday. For a really great car shopping experience, you told us... I don't want to be a part of a buying process. Please answer my questions. Respect me and value my time. At Toyota South, we give our customers a price, trade allowance and payment in minutes. Satisfying customers is our culture, and it has been for nearly 100 years. Experience Toyota South in Richmond.
have light colored tile with beige grout throughout our whole house. And let me tell you, I didn't think it was that dirty. That is until I called Stanley Steamer to clean it. I couldn't believe the difference that they made. It was like we had brand new floors again. I'm really glad I called Stanley Steamer. Call today and receive $25 off tile and grout cleaning. Call 1-800-STEAMER. Stanley Steamer gets your home cleaner. Get two Arby sourdough melts for only $3. Choose roast beef and cheddar or ham and Swiss, both on thick cut sourdough bread. At two for only $3, they'll have you saying, I'm thinking Arby's. Hurry to Goody's Super Sale. Find spring savings store-wide. Now through Saturday, buy two items and get the next one 50% off. That's right, buy two, get one 50% off. Some exclusions apply. Don't miss Goody's Super Sale. End Saturday. 